the David Letterman um, scandal, I guess. Uh, you all know what it is. Do I have to explain? Yeah, they know. <laughs> just, just in case, in case there is not, the 48-hour producer for 48 Hours named Joe Haldeman allegedly tried to blackmail Dave for $2 million uh, by um, saying that he'd had a relationship uh, with an assistant. And last Thursday, was it, uh, David Letterman went on the air and openly talked about it and said that he was being blackmailed and admitted that he'd had relationships with members of his staff, uh, I guess before he was married. Mm -hmm. right? So um, how do you think he handled it? Well, he jumped the gun, and uh, the politicians should take a page from his book, because <laughs> you know usually they're like, "Oh no, I what the, the the you know I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I wasn't in Argentina, I was in Appalachia, whatever," <laughs> you know. <laughs> but he went right out there, and in terms of you know being I smart like politically yeah. and PR wise, he was great. But you know there are issues here. You know that's why women should be in these talk shows at night. The only people we harass are hair and makeup. <laughs> But I think I like the fact that he didn't kowtow to the blackmailing, that he came out and he was a stand-up guy. And he said, I did it. I slept with these women before all of these names. Well, they are coming out now. Well, yeah, there's but. not all of these. I mean, I haven't, I, I, you know, I have to mm -hmm. just say up front that, that I am a big fan of David Letterman's on the air, and I also yeah, like him very are. much personally. Yeah. And he's a man who's difficult to know because he is essentially a very shy man, at least in, you know, uh, when you meet him, and a very private man. So that this kind of thing would be difficult for anyone, but more difficult, I would think, for him. One of the but questions that... When, when, when you're the boss, oh, Barbara, you just have to keep your friend in your pants because you are going... <laughs> To, me to give you the boss. Would you like me to give you a list of the, you know, of the number of bosses who have had, I, I won't do it on the air, who have had relationships? Um, it, yes, maybe. But, you know, as someone said, well, you know, if you're not going to meet someone in your workplace, and it used to be the secretary, but now it's different. the assistant. That's different. I mean, but I don't I like it. Workplace I don't like it that people but... are getting on the, the, I've heard some people say about one of the interns that, you know, it, why didn't uh, she do it the old-fashioned way by hard work and she went, maybe she got ahead by sleeping with David Letterman. And I'm going, when you hire interns, they have to qualify to be there anyway. How do we know that that's the way she did it? Maybe she just really like David Letterman, that I we all have to run into Sherry, the that she I mean, got ahead by Lisa, Sherry with. Listen, David Lisa. Letterman's a funny guy, but come on. You know, I mean, so, no, can you Lisa. imagine? No, Lisa. I was at a Christmas party oh, with Bill Getty, and he was really sexy. Stop it, girl. He is a very attractive man, Lisa. And I, I, as I said, I can give you a list of executives and people in lower levels who, you know, if you, where do you meet people? In the workplace. Yeah, but that doesn't, that that does not not eliminate the fact that if you're one of the girls who works there and you're just, uh, you know, doing your job and suddenly this other chick is getting the airtime and getting the after checks and going out there and well, getting... maybe you're annoyed today, but that's not necessarily sexual harassment. It isn't sexual harassment. Well, no, but that's not necessarily true because I think the definition also includes creating an atmosphere that's uncomfortable. Well, I well, talked to ABC. So these other girls yeah. might have been very uncomfortable. Can I tell you what ABC's... Oh, by the way... The, just to move it ahead, the lawyer for Haldeman was on the morning shows and said, you know, he didn't say very much, but he said, nobody cashes a $2 million check, implying that there were other things. Some people think, well, maybe he was trying to sell a screenplay, but even so, that's blackmail. But I called ABC's Human Resources Department, and they said, ABC has no formal written policy on inter-office relationships. Uh, if a complaint is brought to their attention, attention though, they treat it like any uh, employee relation investigation. However, ABC has a very strict sexual harassment policy. If someone claimed this relationship involves sexual harassment, the investigation would be intense. Let us make it clear, nobody has claimed sexual harassment. Well, no, people Lattin. are very reluctant to go to uh, human resources. Nobody, let's make it clear. It's it's no one yet. When you're in a lower no position. Say no one yet. Not. You're implying that it's going to happen. Well, something could happen now something that it's... Could, yeah, we have some could great could Christmas start. parties, y'all. Boy. Woo! Can we continue this after the break? Can we continue this topic after yeah. the break? Because I think this is a good one. Because I think... <laughs> you, know, you used to come in and take over and you haven't changed. <laughs>
What, what are you saying? Well, no, I mean, I remember when I was starting in this business and I would go into meetings and these older male executives would say, well, we should talk about this over dinner. Um. You know, and it just killed me. Like, I can't believe you're going to go there. But you kind of feel like, okay, well, maybe I should have dinner. I mean, and, and, and a bit of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah I would like to I would say, to just before we go, because I just want us to stick to the facts that nobody says that David Letterman, uh, you know, that you didn't get a job because you didn't do this or that with no. him. Nobody has claimed sexual harassment. We do not know if something's going to come out, but let's what about stick the, to the facts. What about the no. woman that he's married to now? She was going out with him during that whole well, period. Well, that's their private business. That's not your business no, or my I, business. I, and she was not married to him. Uh, 99 out of 100 things I talk about on this show are none of my business. <laughs> No, but I, we don't know that she's not complaining. Could I I that look, his, uh, a lot of it is about public relations too, Barbara. So a lot of women out there could be identifying with this particular woman and not think it's so great to watch Letterman. I mean, it's possible, possible. that he's hurt himself yeah. uh, in the industry a little bit. Lovely. Plus the fact that if he goes down, so does his whole staff in a way. That's the end of the that's show. So true. it's very yeah. reckless behavior. That's absolutely, all. absolutely. And I'm never on his show anyway, so. Well, maybe if you were on his show, you wouldn't be going. Ha, ha, ha.